Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Gone. Welcome to a, another episode of my Realistic Renovation Sims 4 series. We are attempting to do realistic renovation, real-world realistic renovations, of all of the pre-built buildings in Willow Creek in The Sims 4. We must leave all of the exterior walls and foundations alone. We can repaint them, but we can't change them. The exterior doors and windows can be replaced or boarded up. New ones can be added, but the existing ones cannot be moved. All interior doors, walls, etc. They can be changed, demolished, repainted. Large appliances, however, cannot be moved. So, cooker, refrigerator, plumbing fixtures, none of that can be moved. They must stay where they are, with the exception of the bathtubs or shower and the refrigerator. You can replace the bathtub with a shower or a shower with the bathtub. You can move the refrigerator one square to the left or right, but that's it. We are doing the Riverside Roost. Current worth 41,329 simoleons. We want to try to keep it uh, around that worth, if at all possible. Lower is fine. Uh, higher is not. Uh, let's take a look at the house then. It's a bit of an odd house. It's very long, very quite narrow, mostly one story, but it has like the second story addition. So it has two front doors and uh, one side door here, and then a side door leading onto a uh, veranda upper patio. Let's go ahead, go inside, and check to see what it looks like. And inside, we've got a chess table here. Again, the two doors, which really makes no sense to me. Uh, we've got a bookshelf, little living area, a small dining area, a kitchen here, a bathroom, a full bathroom there. We have a rather an extremely large single bedroom here on the first floor. Going up to the second floor, uh, we've got the landing, another bathroom, and a double bathroom here. Let's start, as I always do, by deleting everything, and then we'll see where we're at. I have emptied out the house of all furniture and all fixings, except for the large appliances here. I've gotten rid of the walls. Uh, because I'm thinking I might um, might rearrange the, the rooms a little bit. I'm going to look at this. Now, what I'm thinking of doing... Part of me is tempted to get rid of this roof and put veranda there overlooking the river. Because that would be a really nice view. Then again, I mean, overlooking the canal there. Then again, though, that... They've got one looking, uh, overlooking at that. So, but that is really a really nice view. We're going to go with that. That'll look good. And then what I think I'll do is we'll also get rid of this whole thing here. There we go. And we'll board up this door. That'll work for starters. Now let's go down here. I don't like that there's two doors, uh, two of these entrance doors, but it just really doesn't make sense to me. So I think what I'm going to do is we are going to delete that door. We're going to board it up, and I might put a window there instead. For now, let's go ahead. We'll put a window like that. And then I'm also thinking of... Putting another window here where the door was. That does make a bit more sense to do that way. So instead of a wrap around roof, which doesn't make sense, so we'll do that and then maybe a half gabled roof here. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better than it did. And then for here, 
We got rid of those two windows there. So I think what we'll do is I'll get a small uh, window to go there. And I am trying to keep this to base game as well, by the way. What do you mean? There are no walls there. What do you mean you can't intersect with walls? There are no walls. All right, fine. So as I was saying, we will put classmate casement window there, uh, just so that it matches the rest of the house. The classmate casement, or the classic casement windows back here as well. Yeah, that, that looks quite nice, I think. Okay. Uh, we'll put the roof back on here. Perfect. And then here, maybe here for the door. Maybe something a little bit nicer since it's an upper door. The perfect pane door, I think, might work better. Yeah, that will work. We'll put that there. And then a little bit of a fencing here uh, for this so that people don't fall off. Kind of important. You don't want people to fall off the veranda. Let's put something pretty nice, like maybe this. Yeah, I think this fence looks nice. I want this to be a pretty nice house because this is a, a nice neighborhood. So I'm thinking, let me get closer up here and see what color, see what colors we've got going here. Uh, we got that nice dark, maybe the hand-scraped wood flooring, possibly. Maybe in this dark color here. Yeah, I like that. That's that's quite nice. And I think we'll go ahead and do the same on uh, both porches as well. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and also get rid of this because we got rid of that door there. So we only need one set of stairs on this porch. And I think we will change that to uh, to this fence as well. And then the banisters, what is this called? Oh, fence. <laughs> okay, it's it's fence. Right, uh, that matches the stair railing. So there we have it. That works a bit better. I'm thinking the mega column basic is probably going to match a bit better. So let's get rid of these real quick. And, of course, we'll go ahead and change out the ones here as well. There we go. And just to save a bit of money, a little tip here is on the stairs. If you get rid of the little wall on the sides, it can save, like, literally hundreds of simoleons. I don't know why it's so expensive, but yeah, you can save a lot of money by just doing that. All of the rooftops taken care of. Now, I am tempted and wondering if I should make a bit of a roof going over here or leave it as it is. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it as it is. Having that an open porch, it's, I like the idea. I love the idea of having that open porch. Uh, let's go ahead and go with some siding now. Now, everything is dark. I'm thinking of going dark with this house. I do like that idea. Uh, maybe the colonial cabin with this dark or maybe the light. I'm thinking the dark. Yeah, I, I like having the dark there. It matches the columns on the porch. And it won't cost us anything uh, extra. It'll just make the entire porch look nice, I think. And I'm also thinking for the exterior trims. I wonder what the jutting would look like in this in this dark. Hmm. Yeah, I like the way that looks. That looks a lot better. And now we can do the roof as well. And I'm thinking maybe the square roof or the step. Let's check the square, see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks really nice. I I really like the looks of that. And then we'll go ahead and go with the foundations. Now, I like the brick work. I think we'll go with the brick. Yeah. Let's let's go with the brick. Now, they go with they have gray. Yeah, we'll get, we'll stick with the gray, I think. The gray brick with the brown. I I'm liking the looks of the outside already. It's it's very nice. Uh, for the stairs, I think we'll replace those stairs. I think we'll keep the unremarkable, but we're going to change the color 
to the dark, I think. Just to match the uh, the flooring a bit better. And there we go. That does look a bit better. So I'm wondering maybe the multi-pane window would look better in the dark. Just to match the floor and everything. Or maybe that one. That one. Definitely that one. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks better, to be perfectly honest with you. So let's go ahead and we'll replace, we'll go ahead and replace this door as well. There we go. And up here, I will, you know what, let's go ahead and we'll replace that door as well. But we'll put a, I think we'll put a, let's put a sliding door. I do like sliding doors. So we'll do a sliding door and we'll put it right there. It's a better fit um, on either side of those windows. So let's start off with these windows here. To be honest, I'm thinking of the Suburban Outlook just because I like the looks of it better and it matches the door just ever so slightly. We'll go with the Suburban Outlook in, in this color, I think. And everywhere uh, where the window is, we'll just... I think it's only in the front. Yeah, they're only in the front, so that's good. And we'll go ahead and get rid of these windows there. See, already it looks better. I really don't like... Before, the windows are, like, touching the floor, and I don't like windows like that to begin with. They, they just... Ugh. No. Um, but I think we're actually going to go ahead and, like, replace all of these windows with with this one. And, of course, we have to put them uh, exactly where they are. There we are. That looks so much better, I think. Now for the casement. I'm thinking of downgrading a little bit to the octopane. Because it just it matches a bit better. And we'll just replace that all the way around. There we go. Uh, we're going to go upstairs first and take care of up here. And I think, let's see, I'm thinking in here instead of having a landing, going ahead and enlarging the bathroom and the bedrooms. So we can get rid of that. And then add a wall um, here and there. And then... Another wall going like that into the bathroom. There we go. So we can enlarge this room a little tiny bit and put like the door there. And I think we'll just go with your bog standard door one wide there. Right at the top of the stairs. Okay. Uh, bathtub. Let's see. Let's make blue the theme because uh this is called riverside roost so let's go with river colors with the blues and the greens thinking the raw pedestal sink would look nice and then maybe the garlic scented mirror do we want to the john did we you know what let's do it why not let's do it matches the bathtub <laughs> and since we got this whole empty space here we could put in, I'm thinking a plant, a nice big plant there in the corner. That looks all right. Let's do the bath essentials as it matches. Uh, put it right there. One over. There we go. Now for the floor and wall in here, or floor and walls in here. Oh no, crap. Can't put that bathtub there because it doesn't freaking... That uh, covers up the window. Fine. Well, ah, uh, the superb soakster. There we go. We'll put that in there. That matches the the green that we're go the bluish green that we're going for. Damn it. <laughs> Wanted to go in really nice, but we're having to really downgrade because it's the only thing in green in the blue in the turquoise that matches. All right. So for the wall, um, actually, let's go with towels real quick. Uh, we'll put them a nice little towel rack there. And there's, is there, there's no toilet roll. Got that toilet roll. I think we'll put the toilet roll right there. There we go. 
So anyway, floor and walls. Yes, I think we'll do it in the white. We don't want to over overdo the, the turquoise, but I do like that. That will do. We'll go with that. And for the walls, ah, they've got matching, matching walls as well. Although, yeah, yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll do, do it completely matching. I do like that. That's quite nice. Uh, we do need a door in there, though. Kind of important. Go ahead and put this door there. And I'm thinking something here. Maybe something there in that corner. See what we can find. Uh, let's see. I mean, there's this ottoman that matches that. So maybe put a little ottoman there. Yeah, I like the looks of that. That's that's really nice. Uh, if we have enough money when we're finished, we'll come back in here maybe and add some wall decorations because uh, it is a bit plain Jane at the moment. Uh, but we do need to keep this um, at uh, 41.3 thousand or less. So let's go ahead and do this bedroom. Now this is going to be like the master bedroom. So we'll put a double in. Don't want to put a Mod Pod in. We want to put something quite nice. I'm thinking maybe the Varnish bed. Part of me really wants to... Uh, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll put this in. And we'll put it right there. A couple of end tables. Want something that matches the Varnish. So I'm thinking... Thinking maybe going with the cute Inglet. Ah, the gray there, that matches the bed. Or the bed spread. So let's go ahead and go with that. There we go. That's nice. Maybe some lights to go on the bedside tables. Not sure if we want to go with candles or this raw industrial lamp. I think that would look really nice. All right, so let's see. That's good for the bed. Now, what I would really like to do is put a dresser. Thinking... Put that right up against the end of the bed. Wardrobe in the center. Or in the corner, rather. That works. I always struggle with bedrooms. I'm never sure what to put in them. We've got ceiling lights. Uh, let's go ahead and replace replace these with a nice, a nice ceiling light, I think. Or ceiling decoration. We've got the ceiling fan. Put a ceiling fan right there. No. Put the ceiling fan right above the bed. What's what's the worst that can happen? And then we'll put a ceiling light uh, right here. Something really nice. Let me just think. I'm thinking of putting the definitive there though, right on. Uh, some nice candles there and go with the. Thinking the Casa Morgan might look nice yeah yeah that'll do that'll do us a lot i like that okay it's fine gonna move this light there so it's right in the center so the walls and floors now in here actually you know what i think we'll go for a mirror in here as well maybe the captain chaz that might be nice go with go with that one yeah i like that that's definitely adds a bit to the room this is like super empty though, so I'm thinking maybe some chairs in there. Maybe a couple of um of simple chairs and maybe a small table. So yeah, let's go with this. Might go with the cute anglet again. Actually, no, let's go with the mission style. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's quite nice. Yeah, we'll go with the dark gray uh, in here. I mean, it's make it means that the it's quite dark, but I like. It, it matches, at least everything matches, and I do like that. So for the walls, so I'm thinking just a very, very simple, plain wall. And maybe do it in, in just white, just to liven up, brighten up the room, rather. And then up here, I think we're just going to go with with this basic... That basic white with the dark trim there. I think that will look good. All right, downstairs we have this huge living area, which 
I'm tempted to turn into a separate living and dining room. And we've got the kitchen here and the second bedroom down here, which was a single. So with the stairs, I think we're just going to go ahead and we're going to do this. A wall there for the kitchen. We do that. It is so weird that this bedroom only has one, because it's only ever had one window as well. Might make two new windows and board this one up. So yeah, let's go ahead. We'll separate that like so. We'll get rid of, we'll get this window. We'll make a new window there and another new window there. We'll get rid of that. Make that even with those two. Although instead of a window there, I am tempted to just go ahead and move this window. And in here, we have a corridor going there. And then I'm thinking this could be the living room and that could be the dining room. Uh, let's go ahead and put some doors in here real quick. I think we'll just go with the door one wide. Let's go with something a little bit fancy. Again, tying the blue in. So let's go with these with this one i think so if they go through there then the living room entrance i think could be there well let's, let's go with that for the moment um and then that could be a bedroom and that could be the other bedroom door entrance maybe an archway between the living room and dining room Thinking of going with the arch door, maybe, maybe that one. Or do I want the double wide arch door? And so we can have that door there going from the kitchen to the dining room. I kind of want a double wide, to be honest. Maybe this there, one door there. I think we'll have another entryway there. Just in case there's like a fire or something. <laughs> but that will do, I think. And I think we're gonna actually move this door. Let's go with the uh, with the living room first. We need a sofa. And I think we'll go with the mega sofa. Uh, it's got that nice green color. And then put a TV over here. Let's go ahead and go with a TV stand. We'll go with the flat, we'll go with the trusty companion. There we go. And then maybe a plant. Nothing major, nothing extravagant, just just a nice, am I big enough? A nice big plant. And then I said I wanted to put a desk here, so let's do that. I'm thinking we'll go with the mega desk, just there in the corner. Uh, computer, we'll just go with the... Um, how low can you go? Desk block computer, a chair. We'll go with the Gillette because the Gillette has has the green uh, that matches the sofa, that matches the bedroom, that matches the bathroom, uh, that matches the the color of the river. <laughs> got got that whole theme going on here. Okay, so we're gonna need a light over there as well. So let's go ahead and go with a desk lamp. We'll just go with the uh, dodecagon contemporary lamp. I like it. And then maybe a small bookshelf here. Nothing huge, just because it needs to fit under the window. Maybe one of the darker colors. Maybe that or that. That matches better. Okay, I like, yeah, that, that's, that's good. There we go. So that looks a little bit better. Uh, right now, let's go ahead and do the flooring and the wall in here. I don't really want like a super dark wood in here. Maybe the old world wide plank, mainly because it's just so dark. And I think we'll go ahead and do the, this um, throughout the entire rest of the house. There we go. And then the walls we can have a bit of fun with. Mm, I like that. I like the way that looks. I really, really do. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. And we're going to go ahead and go with that in the dining room. 
I'll just do that. I am going, however, do the desert skies down here in the in the entrance. Whoops. There we go. So the dining room. We'll grab a table. Yeah, I think we can do that. We'll put the heart of the home dining table here. Right in that's not the middle near. That's the middle. Right in the middle. And then some chairs. Yeah, I'm thinking the country cottage would probably look best. There we go. We'll just go with four. Because this is going to be a four-person house. It's not much else we can do in here because of lack of space. We'll put a plant for now. As you know, I like my plants. Maybe the authority would be nice. Just there in the corner. Or maybe over here in the corner. See what we can find for shelves. Maybe just a simple symmetry in that color. To match the table. Just go there and... The and the corner, pull it out just a little bit so it's not like clipping through the walls. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. I like that. Uh, kitchen, then uh, real quick, and then the two bedrooms and the last bathroom. Right, let's go with kitchen counters. Uh, we're going to just go with the Bland Co. Because, like I said, we are really running low on money. So I think we'll go with the with this dark. I think the dark will look good. I'll put an inner corner there and then another corner piece there. I'm tempted to put a left end piece there. Yeah, that looks nice. Go ahead and use that sink. Move whoa. Move that there. But I think if we do it this way, like, whoops, that, and then I can move the bin there. I think that looks a bit better. Maybe I could go with that there instead. Yeah, I like that idea a lot better. And then uh, we could go with the counter or with the cabinet over the refrigerator like that. And I really wish that I could like put another one of these here, like so, but only have it a half one, because that would look really nice, I think, having a half cabinet there instead of the full one, just to completely like box in the refrigerator. But we can't do that, uh, which is a real shame. I like having, I like the idea of that being there. So let's go ahead and do the cabinets. And do a corner unit probably there would look better um on on par with the windows and then that one can go there i like the way that looks that's good okay let's go ahead and get a us uh, a uh hood i think we'll, we'll just go with the noblies we'll go with dark like that we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this to the cooking pro it's probably going to bite us in the ass, but it'll be fine. And then we'll go with the dark sink as well. Uh, and the refrigerator, we'll leave this fridge as it is. Uh, whoops. But again, go with the black one. Okay, so that's the kitchen. Uh, it's I'm going to leave it plain Jane for now. Uh, because we're down to 3000 for the bathroom and the two bedrooms. Let's let's do the the floor here in the kitchen, and I think we'll go with the grounded tiles, but I think we'll go in the uh, with the the gray. No, we'll go with the white. Go with the white grounded tiles. So let's go into the bedrooms. We'll take care of them real quick, and then we'll see how much we have to play with. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go with Mod Pods. Uh, we're gonna go with this color. Here, we're going to put the bed up against the wall, putting it there. And then we're going to put um, a similar one in here, but we're going to go with um, this color instead. And again, uh, right opposite from the window, end table, very quick. We're just going to go with the Simplicity nightstand in dark on one side of the bedroom. We'll go with that side, I think. And then this one, we will go with 
the light on that side of the bed. We'll put a lamp, a bedside table, a bedside lamp on each. I'm going to say these are got kids' kiddish rooms. So we're going to go with the kids' soccer light in here. And in here, we will go with the, is that 45? Let's go with a happy panda lamp. It's because I, I like, I've never used that lamp before and it's cute. So we'll do that. We'll go with a dresser and we'll, we're going to go ahead and just, just throw the, um, put the, the thank you wardrobe in here. So we'll put, do the dark one, uh, put it here up against this wall right like that and then we'll do the light one in here and we'll put it up against that wall part of me wants to put a desk in here but i think we'll hold off on that we won't put desks in uh, i do however want to change out these lights and make the lights a little bit more whimsical for these bedrooms. So I'm going to put this light in there. And then we're going to get this cloud light. And put it in this room. Just to make. Just to add a little bit of, of fun. Uh, to, to the kids rooms. I said I'm not sure if I want to put a desk in here. Maybe in this one. And, and make this one like a, a smaller kids room. So we can put a desk in here. I think we'll just go with the uh, with the lacquered up in here this desk and put it there and then in here we won't put a desk in this room uh instead i'll i'll put like a plush toy or animal or something but go ahead and get the chair in here and we'll uh go ahead and put in the gillette i think can i put can i put a, a toy in here for this kid Four OGs. Oh, um, what about the dino? Can we put the dino? I want to put the dino red. Maybe there. All right, let's do the bathroom real quick and see what we can do in here. We'll, we'll get rid of that bathroom, or that bathtub, and we'll put uh just a, a, a cheap because that's eight hundred forty-five simoleons. So if we do a cheaper bathtub in here, maybe the rub a dub dub would be nice. And then we'll need um, we need a mirror in here as well. We'll just go with the Sunny Days wall mirror and a towel rack. Oh, am I gonna have enough for this? Like there. I hate when it does this. Toilet roll holder there. We need walls and floor. Oh no, four one three three. Ah no. Um. <laughs> Uh, for the walls in here, we will go in here. Yeah, we'll go with nature's glow and we'll just go with um, with the basic white and then the floor. I think we'll go with the grounded tiles and maybe the, the bright green uh, since the floor is white. Yeah, we'll go with that. OK, 41,261 and it's a three bed, two bath. We did a good job if, if I hadn't have spent like a lot of money up here in the main bedroom and bathroom, then we would have had more. But I do like it a lot better than than I did previously. So and, and of course, we didn't get any outside things done. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's see if I can find some debug plants real quick. Something nice. Just so that I can say if the outside is 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 done. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Um, just just a, a nice. We'll we'll make it small. Make sure you have move uh, move objects on for this uh, game or for for this build. By the way, everyone, trust me, you you'll need it. We'll just go with that. Maybe maybe embiggen that to put there. We'll move that and put it there and i'll just put these all the way down to there and then we'll put another another big bush there i'll move that and let's move this let's put this over here by the back door right there i think that 
a little bit of dirt there, there, and I think, I think that's it, right? So total price 41237 which is um, just under the original price of 41329 So I think we did a good job. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. This is Riverside Roost. I will be putting it up on the gallery uh, where you can download it. Remember to have Move Objects on. And thank you very much for watching. If you've made it this far, I stream on Twitch five days a week. I stream 10 to noon, streaming as Parasports Sports Show, and then 8 to 11 that's uk times uh, streaming various games yeah i will catch you later please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so like the video and i will catch you next week with another realistic renovation